me. He's supposed to be scary, but he just comes off as annoying. He talks way too damn much. The police on cops. All the power-hungry police officers on cops. What you gonna do when they come for you? F asterisk seeking wrong. That's what I'm gonna do. Rebecca Howe. A greedy gold digger who loved Robin called court only for his money and didn't stop loving him when she found out he was cheating on her and failed to report Robin when he was planning a hostile takeover of the corporation with her computer. Oh, and she also burned cheers to the ground. Maureen Ponderosa. So gross. Rebecca Moody. I'd rather listen to my kids whine in the car than watch her weird face. Carrie Matheson. Her constant ugly crying in the third season was just too much. I stopped watching. Meredith Gray. Just whiny, rude, and me. Bring their own. He's all about golf and sex. Maybe if he helped Deb or some, he'd get more lucky more often. War Ray Baron 43 of 94, which TV dead do you wish was your own? 80 of 199, the most annoying anime characters of all time. 83 of 403, the funniest TV characters of all time. Sophie Stackhouse. Powers and abilities, telepathy, photokinesis, more Sophie Stackhouse. 157 of 935, the greatest female TV characters of all time. 24 of 26. The best lady BF in TV history 140 of 145 The greatest female TV role models And Rand Iron Fist, he was so whiny, so annoying and weak It was patently unbelievable that it could be the greatest martial artist in the world The fact that he could never control his emotions was laughable The whole thing was pathetic Mary Winchester. It took me forever to finish because she ruined the atmosphere of Supernatural. If they put a tree on her place, it will make a better actor. Belina Gilbert. When she went to sleep finally, I was like, thank God this B asterisk TCH is going down. Amelia Shepard. Of all the characters to bring over from private practice, they chose her. Kate Pearson. She isn't nice, not even to the man she is going to marry. She complains constantly and blames her problems on others. Ted Mosby. No wonder it took him so long to meet the mother, who was way cooler than his arrogant, whiny, pretentious character. Alan Harper The only reason I kept watching two and a half men after Charlie Sheen left was that I was hoping and praying they'd kill off Alan. Donna Martin her obsession with mid-drift shirts, even in the Christmas episodes. Dawson Leary. Rachel Berry. Just stopped talking, and she got most of the solos and screen time. More Rachel Berry 87 of 107 the best dressed female TV characters 3 of 20 TV characters way too poor to realistically afford their lifestyles 4 of 35 glee characters that deserve a record contract. 
Horatio Kane. Always posing for the camera while everyone else acts like they are not even there, like they are supposed to. Samuel Screech Powers. He was hella annoying, always F asterisk, seeking everything up for all of them, couldn't keep a secret, and it seems like he's an asterisk asterisk hole in real life too. More Samuel Screech Powers 96 of 737, the most annoying TV and film characters ever 23 of 97, the greatest geeks in TV history 89 of 142, the best TV characters of the 1990s. Skylar White Loved the series, thankful I never see that character again. Randy Pearson Debbie Gallagher I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that she was such a sweet kid and turned into such a huge piece of SH asterisk T. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.